Hello, so welcome to this very short talk on baroreceptors. So baroreceptors are mechanoreceptors that respond to stretch. We have low pressure baroreceptors and high pressure baroreceptors. High pressure baroreceptors are located in the aortic arch and the carotid sinuses. Low pressure baroreceptors are located in large systemic veins, the pulmonary vasculature and the chambers of the heart. High pressure baroreceptors are rapid acting and respond to immediate changes in blood pressure, whereas low pressure baroreceptors are slower acting and result in a more sustained change in blood pressure. So how do baroreceptors work? So we'll talk now specifically how high pressure baroreceptors work. They work via a negative feedback mechanism. With increased stretch or increase in blood pressure, there's an increase in the rate of firing in the baroreceptors within the aortic arch and the carotid sinus. This leads to increased transmission along cranial nerve 9 and cranial nerve 10, also known as the glossopharyngeal and the vagus nerve. These impulses are transmitted to the nucleus solitarius, where the vasomotor and cardio-inhibitory centres are located. As a result of increased transmission along cranial nerves 9 and 10, there is in turn reduced sympathetic outflow and increased parasympathetic activity. This will result in a reduction in systemic vascular resistance and hence a reduction in blood pressure. Conversely, as a result of low blood pressure, there is reduced firing of baroreceptors within the carotid sinus and aortic arch. This means there is reduced transmission along cranial nerves 9 and 10. And as a result, there is increased sympathetic outflow and reduced parasympathetic activity in the vasomotor and cardio inhibitory centres. This in turn will result in an increase in systemic vascular resistance and an increase in blood pressure. Thank you for watching this very short video on baroreceptors. Please feel free to watch my next video where I'll discuss what happens when there is a rapid 2 litre blood loss.